I grew up in Berlin uh, with my lovely parents and three sisters. I have also a twin sister, so she's playing football as well. And it was really nice to grow up in Berlin uh, with my sisters. And yeah, it's a wonderful city. I really enjoy living there and always come back there for Christmas and family time. Katja and I went to the same class, to the same school, to the same uh, club. So we spent a lot of time together and I think it was nice to be around us because we always would do something funny. <laughs> and like we always like went to do something sportive or like creative and we always would try or find a way to do something new. And I feel like there are more and more twin sisters in football. And I feel like it comes from the competitiveness it comes with having a twin. But yeah, she's my soulmate and I feel like that's something nobody can take away from me. Like always having somebody you can reach out and like talk about deep talks and like having also like these conversations where you're normally uncomfortable with other people. So having her always in my back is something I really appreciate. And in terms of football, what are your earliest memories of football? Um, I actually do have uh, a video recording from my dad from our first tournament we took part of. It um, was actually pretty funny because our shorts were like over our knees and like we were like really small, <laughs> small young kids. And um, we started playing football with boys, so we, are, we were the only girls in that team. And he, yeah, he was really proud because he filmed all the tournament and like my first goal and uh, my family was there as well and was celebrating that goal. So since I have pictures in mind with that memory, um, it's a really big one. Um, but yeah, overall, we just wanted to play soccer and like one big memory is like watching football with my father. So on weekends, we have like the highlands from the men's league and we would, yeah, talk about who scored the best goal and my father is a big fan of Bayern Munich so there was always like players like uh, Philipp Lahm or Bastian Schweinsteiger like German pro players who would I would look, uh, look up to but I never had like specific players or like a club where I would really be like a big fan of we didn't really know how far, uh, like how far women's soccer get like we just saw men's soccer in uh, TV and we didn't really had like women football presenters and like media and like even like in our club there were like not really a woman team so um, we just for the first I would say five to ten years we just have fun with it we saw it as a hobby or something we would do next to the academy like the school and then there was like a point where we get in the, into the selection of Berlin, so the best player of Berlin. And like that was like a point where we really figured out that we have talent and we would grow into that thinking of there's something possible, like earning money with that one day and everything. So I feel like the first national call up with the U17, that was like my main time where I would really think, yeah, I will, I want to play a pro like one day. You left school. What did you go and do? Did you have any other jobs? Did you study? During school, actually, already smaller jobs like as a cashier or like, do you say cashier? Yeah. <laughs> um, every other Saturday, like when we had like away games, it wasn't possible, but I really had like a nice uh, boss who would always allow me just work like whenever I am ready because she was also a fan at the club where I played that time. So we, she was really supportive. But yeah, I already tried to earn my own money because we also moved out from our uh, child, like parents' house early since we wanted to live close by our club and school. So we have like a little better time management with that. I actually have like a lot of job experience already since my study. I did like partly study. So you would work half in a company and then work a study next to it. and. Since COVID hit, I had to change that job, I think, four times. So I worked in really different businesses already. And looking back, like, of course, in that moment, it wasn't really nice because I had like a lot of stress and it wasn't always nice to have like this financial problems in my back head. But now looking back, it's really nice to have all that experience already. So I can when one day I will 
be done with football, I can choose from my experience. So I started with Katja at Stern 1900. It's like a really small club in Berlin in our childhood area. And we played there with boys until u 17s which we were, was like the highest level you could play with boys. And then we had to decide to move to another club, which was Union Berlin. They're like was at that time the biggest club for women, women's soccer, and especially that age. They played like Bundesliga, so the highest league as well. And for us, that was like a really like challenging step because we wanted to continue playing with the boys, but also wanted to, had to go up playing with women and then also with um, higher goals in mind, playing national team and everything. We came to, to the solution that that, was be, that would be the best option for us at that time. So we moved out to a friend, had like our school, our club all together in one area, which was in the end really like, we took advantage of that one. And um, yeah, I played there three or four years. And we already, when with the age of few 18, we already made it to the first women's team, which was really good. After that, I finished my first level in school, so I had to decide, wanna, do I want to stay or do I want to do something else or where my path will go. And I always wanted to do or get some international experiences. So I went to UCF, which is a college in Florida. And yeah, I was really glad to choose that one because my coaches there were like the best, I, almost the best I had. <laughs> um, Tiffany Zahedek is now coaching the USA national team now. So like she's assistant coach now and I'm still in touch with her. And she taught me actually a lot because it was also my first experience away from my twin sister. So when I arrived there, everybody recognized me the first time, like really as an individual, which was like different to me. But yeah, they did a really good job welcoming me. And my coach was just amazing. And she taught me really like a lot of growing up being an individual and take responsibility and like also like a lot of life lessons actually. So yeah, I really looking back with a bright smile to that. And yeah, after that, I wanted to get back to Germany and find myself in the first league for to be in Potsdam and played there three years. Do I like a little ups and downs with that club because I injured myself in the first season with an ACL, um, then COVID hit. So it was like one bad thing after the other happened. But I would say overall in that three years, I took like a lot with me, especially mentally. Looking back, I could taken a lot of things from that and yeah I'm really glad that I spent some time because my teammates were like really amazing as well so we really grow together in that time and then I arrived at Rangers <laughs> this summer so actually my agent, agent came up with like the name and to be fair like I didn't hear that much from Rangers before I just hear that Celtic Rangers there's like a rivalry and it's like a Scottish uh, club, um, but yeah, I give it a chance and I'm really glad I did and get to, to talk with uh, Amy and uh, Marky and yeah, I'm really glad to be here now. Football is more than a sport. It, tells, like, it teaches you so much like being in an environment where you have to fit in. I feel like in every football team there's like one crazy person or like one person who's like a little quieter and like one funny person and always to see how that in the end really matches on the pitch and how we grow together during seasons as well and uh, over overcome problems or like when we have a loss or like especially with my last um, team when the environment is not as supportive of some things really sticking together and still being the best you can on the pitch is something where the values you can transfer that in your life as well and that is something I really love about football as well because it helped me grow and like become the person I am today. And how is it to deal with that pressure? Um, that comes with, with obviously playing here. So I feel like our team already developed some good pressure release techniques. So for example, meeting next to the pitch as well, like improving and growing better, like 
closer together as a group is something that really helps sometimes. And also recognizing and being, yeah, not harsh with yourself, but really honest that when your standards are not high enough or like you losing a little like focus on certain things that we can stand up and tell each other what we're missing right now or, or that we have to put a little more effort in certain um, situations. So I think that is something we really do well here and that actually impressed me as well because the environment where I come from is like kind of the same but it wasn't talked out loud all the time. It was also sometimes in the back or like just in like individual conversations. So having that group effort and like being close to each pay layer and like and I can be totally honest and I feel like it will be not leaving the room, it will be safe. And you have had a, a book published as well. I don't know if you want to talk about that a bit and tell yeah. us a bit about that. Um, so that actually um, was like a conclusion from COVID actually. So my study had to, it came to a point where I had to take a break from studying and I just wanted to continue doing something next to football. And I did some coaching with younger players and yeah, they had all these questions not answered like, how much salary do you get? Is it even possible to live from that? And how many training sessions do you get? Um, what is the advantage and disadvantages of being a pro player? And I felt like these questions are so like necessary to know and able to want to make the next step and giving sacrifices to get to that level that uh, I want to just not answer them the questions, but like give every young girl like the possibility to get these answers. So first of all, I just wrote down the answers for myself and then the girls, but then the idea of a book started and developed and yeah, it took quite a long time because I did most of the time everything by my else. Like I interviewed some people to get like more knowledge in, but yeah, it, was, it took a long time. And also in that area, I had to learn and yeah, understand myself even better. Like. Be, I, I think I was like too much a uh, uh, perfectionist in situations where I really had to get myself back and the message will, is now like out. Like the girls can just take the book and read like what it's, what it's like to lose a game or like to handle the pressure. And even though like I would like to have like a publisher or something next to it, that in the end doesn't matter because I already got feedback and it was really nice to hear that young girls like already get inspired or like find their answers in that book and that's all I wanted with that project so I'm really glad I did it and yeah the feedback is really well. Yeah and how much are you, you now looking forward to, to the rest of the season and, and what's to come here really? The cup will be like our first milestone I would say to win and then just continue with the league win, take one game at a time and yeah, in the end have the trophy of course, that, that's my biggest goal and I will make sure that I do the best I can and my part for reaching that goal. And yeah, in Glasgow overall I study right now uh, online, I started, restarted online, so I will do that from November to June and then I got my bachelor. So there will be more work next to the pitch as well. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it because first I, I will be done next summer, which is like a little extra motivation, but also the topics are really nice. And yeah, I feel like I have a good organization next to the practice and we have also more time here than in my previous time, which will allow me to do some extra study lessons next to the pitch. Yeah. And what is it you're studying? Just uh, sport and exercise science. Yeah, soccer specific actually, so yeah. I can really do my homeworks on, not our group, but <laughs> like our topics which are really interesting me and like will help me as well as an athlete to understand why we do certain exercises and everything. So that's really nice to always have like an another point of view as well.